Welcome back to the SNES library. I am the curator. And we're not quite starting at the chapter transition because we didn't get one last time. We but I felt like we should have. But since last time I've had another crazy theory and well, you know me, I'm gonna come out swinging with it. Even though I'm already disproved, gonna, gonna disprove it right afterwards. So, I was thinking, everyone kept saying how Yoko and Shinobu look so similar. And how in the days before death, Yoko seemed to act very differently, almost like a different person. So I started to think, yo, what if Yoko is still alive? What if she found Shinobu? And then they swapped places. So that Shinobu was investigating her own disappearance in a way. Like... That's crazy though. I mean, for one... Shinobu at this point would be over 30 years old. I think you would have noticed a little more than, oh, Yoko's acting a bit differently. Also, of course, the autopsy. I mean, I think they would have noticed if the dead body was not that of a, like, 15-year-old girl. I think you would have noticed that. Anyway, back to this game. What are we even doing? We came back to school. Right, Goro died. Goro was murdered. Either by Urabe or by the son of Uchida. Probably Urabe, though. Because Goro was probably blackmailing him. Ah, uh, let's... Is anyone here? Hello? What are we doing now? I think it's the next... I mean, of course the next day was the day at night last time. Hmm. That's strange. Why isn't anybody around? Where is everybody? Who's there? Where is everybody? Ryuji, today's a holiday, don't you know? Don't you remember? Really? Are any of the other staff here today? I don't believe so. I simply came here to paint a portrait on my day off. Speaking of which, I'm behind schedule. Really? You just coming to paint a portrait? This is the art room. Mr. Komada, are you there? Oh, it's like the other side of the room. You're here. Mr. Komada, Goro Kanida was murdered last night. Yes, I know. Do you now? I have reason to believe Goro was murdered because he tried to blackmail his father's murderer. Not talking to me about this car now? No. What does Principal Urabe have to do with this? Principal Urabe and Goro knew one another. Principal Urabe and Goro, you don't think a friendship like that is even the least bit peculiar? What do you think? Surely you aren't saying, Principal Urabe. There isn't any direct evidence yet, but... So, Ryuji, you're convinced Urabe is the murderer? How little you know of what really goes on here at Ushimitsu. How every teacher here has a secret. Mr. Komada? I locked the door as I came in. You're trapped. I'm sorry? Speaking of secrets, anything could happen to you right now, and no one would ever know. Uh, dude? Let me out? <laughs> uh. What the fu- why are you all of a sudden? Ah, uh, think? Stop laughing at me like that, I'm trying to- 
What is happening? Dude, you can't even save your game. Well, he, he just laughs at you trying to save your game. Well, then I won't. How do you feel about that? Jesus Christ. What do you want me to do? What is this? Why are you being such a creep now, dude? Can I grab a chair and smack it over the head? Like, what the fuck? Okay, you know, this all this tension is kind of dying now that I'm kind of like in this loop. Now that I'm stuck here. And this is really the, really the problem with this game. Like, they build up tension, but then it just all dies when you're stuck in this menu trying to find out what you're supposed to do. And now I don't care anymore. Well done, game. Well done, game. What are these things anyway? They seem... Doesn't matter what it is, does it? No, ah... Uh, just let me look at stuff. I have to look at something. Is this light thing? Nothing. It's a reflection of something. I mean, it's, it's on the table and the door. What is that on the door? I don't know. Can I look at your shoulder? And I can't even turn to him anymore, can I? Just try this again? I mean, I tried this before, haven't I? Oh. Aha! When I first don't succeed. <laughs> just kidding. I had you going there, didn't I? For like five minutes while you were t t trying to talk to me. But, please, I really do not appreciate all this ridiculous gossip about Prince Mulder. Dude, your sense of humor is way off, dude. I don't know where you came up with such a silly idea, but... I do not wish to badmouth my colleagues, detective. Please, you'll have to excuse me. Okay. Let's just pretend this shit never happened. Because it was quite stupid. What? It's the executive agency. It's hate to me, homie. Hey, Ruji, get this. That strange man's been murdered too now. I can't believe everything that's been happening lately. This is getting deep, even for all Itomi. So don't worry a thing about Itomi. I've got, in, I've got some new leads. We'll solve this one soon enough. So, you're gonna find the killer now. Make sure he doesn't get you as well. Ha ha ha. But seriously though, be careful. You handle the leads, and I'll take care of Ayumi, alright? She'll be safe as can be under my watchful eye. Anyhow, I'll talk to you soon, okay? See ya. Eat to me. Is it, is it, uh, message on the phone? It's blinking. No? Okay. Five, five, five. Uh. Shoe. No? Sorry, Mr. Bundy. Oh, I thought the game crashed for a second. No, my Christmas is at the bottom. Can we take the phone? I know it's blinking. It's a phone. No? Uh, oh, you have to ask the answering machine personally, like it's a person. Oh, the phone. 
Hello, this is Studio for Katsuragi. I talked with Detective Saito the other day about the Uchida boy. An old friend of mine, Sayaka Ishibashi, is coming to visit me today. She used to know him as well, and wanted me to tell you she'd like to help. Well, great. Also, why is there still no chapter transition? Oh, there, there it is. Okay, jeez. Chapter 9 was probably very long. A childhood friend. Hopefully chapter 10 is short. So I'd like to finish this off again. I'd like to close it off properly again. This is the home of Ryoko Katsuragi, a former friend of Shinobu's. I'm sorry, Saiga should have arrived by now. But please, make yourself at home. Alright, so... Anything else you can tell me about anything? I've told you all I know. Yeah, I've always thought. I just heard about it on the news. It surprised me when I saw it. I never imagined Godo would still be living here in town. What do you mean about that? I always assumed he was living it up in the big city. Or on some sort of yacht. I don't know what else to tell you. I myself don't remember much uh, about him anymore. When Saga gets here, she should be able to fill in the gaps. Good. Prince Urobe had good direction and was always sympathetic with the students' c concerns. Oh, good for him. He's always been an upstanding man. As far as you know. I told you all I know. I hope Saya gets here soon. I wish I could help you more. Well, I'll go to wait. This house is in the neighboring town as well. We must be just up the road from the Sambora. I wonder what they'd say about the murder. I never knew much about Goro. Alright, go through everything again. That's not remin- what? That's not reminiscent of Shinobu. What? That's not reminiscent- What do you mean? What kind of sense is that? What is not reminiscent of her? What are you talking about? He's a wonderful man. Everyone at the school admires him. I remember one time, I sprained my ankle. He personally escorted me to the hospital. In his car. Everybody was talking about it. That car, yeah. Can you tell me about his car? I remember it well. It was a very fancy big black car. The kind every schoolgirl wants to be seen in. Oh really? So the final game confirmation is something we've known for years because Jesus Christ, it wasn't hard to figure out. They dropped all the hints, but it wasn't gonna tell us. So it's true. Principal Urabe owned a large black car 15 years ago. I told you all I know. Saika knew the Uchida boy much better than I did. Yeah, oh my god, what is that? Alright, she says something new. Let's go through all the points again. Nope. Maybe that's her. Well, if she's calling, then it would be a good thing. No, it was someone else. C uh, could I use your phone? It won't be long in distance. Say, so what would the Sambora say about the murder? So. Call them. Might, might as well spend some time. The Sambura Bard Saloon. Yes, we just heard the news. It's all over the TV. Goro wasn't here just the other day. Everyone here is talking about it. Why don't you come over if you want to know more? Sure, I'll just come back later then. Excuse me, but I have to go check on something. I won't be long. Oh! Please, be back soon. 
Yeah, it would be a shame if I was late. This is Sambora. Howdy. Hey. Can I help you? Tell me about Goro. Everybody's talking about it. There's new customers here. I could have sworn he was up to something the last time I saw him. What did you see? No? Okay, I was, I was trying to jump the gun here, I guess. Okay, you know nothing. Cool. Let's speak to the, the customers then. Hey, you're that kid from before, right? Have you heard about Goro? I can't believe he's dead. I still can't believe he's dead. Couldn't tell you much about that. No idea. Couldn't tell you much about that either. Also no idea. I wonder what that fool got himself into this time. What did he get himself into before? Huh. Okay. Guess it was a waste of time. I don't know if you can help me. You haven't really tried much. Wow. What's on TV? No. Oh, check the TV. Okay, cool. Now that we've done that, now that we have seen the TV. Cool. I'm getting everywhere here. It's all over the TV. Hey, say that. I wonder what the fool got himself into this time. How do they say it's all over the TV? No? God damn it! I know where you're getting at, but come on! Pestering me too much can be hazardous to your health, kid. Really? You're gonna you, you, you're gonna do that now, Jimmy? God, you're a little bitch, aren't you? I wonder who comes into this time. God, you are not helping. I'm starting to think you can't help me, dude. Okay. Well, I look at this lady as you was here before. I can't tell if she's with him or not. Okay, well, let's just leave then. All we learn is that the bar has a TV. Thanks over here. Any time now. Do you let me know where you're going to be so that I can't let you inside or car arrives? Ah, uh, this is where I'm going. You don't care. I've got to go to a bar called the, the, the Sambora. If you get a hold of me, you can call the number on, on this pack of matches. Alright. Well, I guess now that that's out of the way, maybe we can make some headway here. God, this game can be so complicated sometimes. Unnecessarily so. Let's check the TV now. Alright, the girl knows the number now. Will you talk to me? No? Now that I think about it, now that the lady has the number of this bar, things are starting to seem kind of suspicious. He showed up for the first time in a long while, around 10 days ago. He always came here off and on, so I didn't think much of it at the time. But this time it was different. That night, 
he came in here and sat in the corner, staring at the TV. It was just after the ball game had ended. After sitting there glued to the TV for the longest time, he suddenly stood up, exclaiming, <laughs> it all comes back to me. Always. I always win. Ha 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 ha. He ran out the door, shouting this again and again. It must have been just after 9pm, I'd say. Unfortunately, I can't see the TV from here. So I couldn't tell you what he'd seen. I mean, if you say 10 days ago, and this is chapter 10, then that would have been the time when Yoko died, but you wouldn't have seen that on TV. Because we only found it the next morning. I don't know. From then on, he came here all the time, in high spirits, throwing all kinds of money around. Oh, excuse me, that's probably for me. It's for you. Hello? Hello, this is Yoko. A saga just called to let me know her train's here. I'm heading out now to, to pick her up. I'm on my way. Excuse me. Pleasure's mine. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back with Saika in just a minute. Alright, time to rob her house. The lamp? I'll take the lamp. It's a nice upper middle class home. The painting. Is it worth something? It's a nice upper middle class painting. How about the plant? It's a nice upper middle class plant. What is this? Is this like a commemorative plate? It's a nice upper middle class commemorative plate. Can I take the green pillow? I like green. It's a nice upper middle class green pillow. Fantastic. What was going to have seen on the TV that night? Hmm. What was going on 10 days ago? Our home has a nice livelihood to it. There's a large TV here. Okay. What's with the TVs now? You keep pointing out TVs. Hey, it's 9pm, just about the same time Godo was watching TV that night. Yeah, let's see what's on the air 10 days later. Maybe we'll see the same program and then maybe we'll find out what he was looking at. I wonder what's on. Okay, the game is just about over. It's baseball. How wonderful. Yep, thank you for the sponsors. Hmm. It's the news. I actually say anything? Hang on. Ah, I need to stop talking. Oh. Yeah, he's definitely speaking Japanese. Also, N64. I mean, I know that this reading was made in like the. Like 1998, so the N644 was already out at the, at the time. There was an accident downtown somewhere. Police are investigating the Goro murder. Detective? I'd like to introduce Sayaka Ishibashi. Pleased to meet you. I assume Yoko's told you a little bit about me. Not too much. It's a shame these things still happen in this day and age. Oh, they will never end. Also, your face looks kind of bent. I don't know. It doesn't quite look quite right. I was close with Yoko and Shinobu ever since junior high. Ever since Shinobu started high school, we noticed she'd started to change. But none of us ever thought she would end up like that. She did. Why do you always say people change but then never go into detail so how or what or... I can't say I like the guy much, but to be murdered like that? It's a shame these things still happen in this day and age. I 
How about Mr. Uchida committed suicide? We used to go to school with his son. Our nickname for him was Big T. T? His first name starts with a T. Okay. That's a thing then. Big T. Yeah, we used to call him Mr. Uchida's son Big T. His full name was Tatsuya Uchida. Tatsuya Uchida. Could this be the T you I've been looking for? I always remember what a kind and gentle heart he had. He always seemed bright and cheerful for as long as I knew him. He's been through a lot, no doubt. First hearing about the murder of his friend, then with his father committing suicide. Would I be? Praise him! Ryuk and I always aspire to be like the principal. More. No, you're out of praises already? That's a sin in this town. I hope you're able to make some sense of all this. Ah, oh, try. You no, know, it's weird how we, I mean, we have not even begun to investigate, like, where Yoko died, right? She was drifting down the river, well, where did she die? This is still such a mystery. We know nothing about our main case. No one could have ever expected what happened. I couldn't believe it at the time. Back when it happened, I think Big T took the news worst of all. They'd supposedly been close friends ever since the, they were young. I think Shinobu might have even been interested in him. Why would she hang out with Goro? He seemed to be stricken with grief after his father's death and moved away not long after. I never saw him again. That's all I know about him. Do you know where he moved? I heard about Yoko's death ten days ago. It was on the news at nine. Uh huh. One of the people they interviewed was Principal Urabe. He seemed so sad. Okay. So Goro saw Urabe be interviewed about the death of Yoko, and that gave him the inspiration to blackmail him. The question is who? Did Goro assume Urabe killed Yoko, or was he reminded, Oh yeah! He killed my dad! I can blackmail him! Wait a minute. That's exactly what he, when Goro was watching the TV at the Sampora. Saka, I've finished putting your luggage away. I'll show you your room now. Excuse me for just a second. So, the Uchida boy's first name was Tatsuya. Could this be the TU I'm looking for? It's definitely a long shot. And for Goro, he could have been watching the interview with Urabe when he had his outburst at the Sambora. Wait a sec. Could the principal have sold his house in order to pay off Goro? Now we just sit here trying to figure out how to. It's just me and the TV here. She's gone. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to. Oh, something's through the window. It's a nice upper middle class window. Okay, now. I hate being left alone and not being able to do anything. I hate being alone in a room when nothing works. Oh, now it works again. The TV is off. Well, it's new. They seem to be talking in the other room. I don't have an eavesdrop command. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Saga was just showing me her old junior high yearbook. 
Oh, you don't want to show me that? The yearbook. In fact, this picture should be in there. Could I have a look at it, please? Of course. That's why I brought it. Big T should be in this class photo. Oh, you want me to find him? <laughs> Which one is him? Okay, let's go through them one by one, I guess. Because that's the only command I have, is check where. That's Big T in the, in the second row there. Him? Which vicinity was it in? Him? God, you're so... Is it him? No? Is it him? Him? Yeah, that's him. Tatsuya Uchida. Why in the world would these girls know him as Tatsuya Uchida? That's... Mr. Hibido. Huh! Turns out I was onto something there, wasn't I? I didn't recognize him immediately because it's... well... Never know. Next day, Yoduji goes to talk to Mr. Himino in the principal's office. In a speed of, like, progress that is unprecedented in this game. So, I take it you've discovered the truth. Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Yes, I was the son of Tirohiku Uchida. I couldn't call myself that. Not if my father was the main suspect in the murder case. And then... How they found him like that. So who are you? My mother, rest her soul, had always told me how important it was to... Keep your name unblemished. I always... Remember her words. So you know Shinobu then. You know Goro too. My father was no murderer. I'll never believe those stories. My father was an honorable man who trusted others to be the same. But then, Mr. Kaneda, he used them. Because of Mr. Kaneda, my father lost everything. It was too much for him, so he took his own life. Because of Mr. Canada, my father. If only those no good Canada never existed. Including Goro. My father was a good man. He wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone kill a man. Not even those low-life Canadas. I was lost without my father, until Principal Urabe came along. He looked after me. Principal Urabe was friends with my father, back in their childhood days. He stepped in after we lost Dad, acting like a father would for his son. He was the only one ever there for me. I'm so thankful. I couldn't have gotten this career without it, his help. I owed all to him. The principal is a great man. Anything else? After she met Goro, she never changed completely. During her last few days, the Shinobu I knew was already long gone. What do you mean by that? God, would you fucking talk to me, people? Oh, they changed. Cool. I'll just jot that down in my notebook. Changed. Cool. My trash can will like that one. I heard he was murdered. The Canadas 
A disgrace to the school and to this town. Anything else? Oh, he's done. He being as hated off the candidates is certainly understandable, considering all that's happened to, to him and his family. I'd love to hear his alibi for the day Goro was murdered, though. I realize the way the situation looks, Detective. To make matters worse, I don't really have any alibi. However, I don't care. They got what they deserved. What are you trying to say? On the night of his father's death, Nagoro arrived just after the crime took place. What? Oh, right, okay. Apparently he saw who the murderer was. I have reason to believe Goro was murdered because he tried to blackmail this man, who I believe is none other than Principal Urabe. Surely you're not saying Principal Urabe Well let me tell you something. You may question me and even doubt me if you choose to. However, I won't tolerate you insulting the principal like that. Not now, not ever. Okay. Run away from the truth if you so choose. So, Mr. Hibino is the son of the late Hiroiko Uchida. If that's the case, Hibino's hatred of the Kanidas is certainly understandable. Considering all that's happened to his fa him and his family. I feel, I feel like I've thought that before. Taking away the possibility of Urabe, my, ne my next best lead is now Mr. Hibino. But there's so much that points to the principal. And Hibino wouldn't be so stupid as to murder Goro without an alibi, would he? Okay. Didn't get, we get a chance to cut that, but... If I save and start from the checkpoint next time, then we should be fine. Next time on... Famicom Tante Club. We will continue here. As the bar slowly comes in here, it's very... I don't know, they've, they've been very scary here, and I'm kinda... I don't know what to think of that. But next time we will find out. Until then!